Good afternoon, the Chairman Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center, our legal department, co community of viewers, and Queen Mrs. Solution Alive from Ikeja Lane Avenue Branch, have a case of child access denial reported by one Miss Angela Utome Chuamaka against one Mr. Azuka Osanebi. Right in our office here, we'll have the complainant. Please join us as we interview her and for a proper. A better result of this case. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV. Follow us on our Facebook page on Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center. And for more useful information, please visit our website on www.hldac.org.ng. Thank you very much. Okay, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, you reported the case of child access denial? Yes. Okay, can you speak up and tell us what really happened, please? Thank you. Alright. Um, we are into a relationship. That was in 2000. So, 2000 and 2000, I got pregnant for him. So, naturally, the relationship was not too serious like that. But when I got pregnant, I told him that I'm pregnant. He did deny the pregnancy. He accommodated me until I gave birth in 2011. So when I gave birth, my sister outside the country was the one who is helping me and is doing a driver work. For the line, you say you took in 2000. How did you get a ticket? I mean, give birth 2011. Oh, sorry. I hope you know when you are pregnant and yeah, know who do. owns the child. Yeah. Go child ahead. So when I took in, I, my, I told my sister, she was so annoyed with me because she was trying to send me to school then. So when, after that, I just pleaded with her so that she can help me because then I was not working until I gave birth to the child. So when I gave birth to the child, I was living with him in his house. So on a day, I went, I, that the baby was a year plus. So I decided, I said, let me go and see my mom because everybody was annoyed with me in the house because they didn't believe that such a thing could happen to me. So as in, I went to my mom, I visited my mom. That week, I told my mom that I'm going back. My mom was said to me, no, that you can't go back to that, that that's not how to get married, that she does not hope that her daughter could ever come in such a marriage life. So I pleaded with my mom, she allowed me to go, so I went back. When I got to the house, I met a lady in his house. So I was, I called him on phone, I was asking him, because that very day he's not at home. I called him on phone, I, I told him, I said, ah, Azuka, what happened? I met a lady in your house, this is not even up to two weeks that I traveled. He said, and so what, that he has his life to live. So I went back to his father's house to stay. His father accommodated me and his younger ones, so we stayed. Then he tested his phone, his father and his phone that his father should go back and sent me out that he's not interested in the marriage or anything. That all he wants is his own child. Then yes. have you put to bed? Yes, I put to bed. That was one year after my bed. So I explained to my family. My sister decided to help me. He asked me to go back to my village. So I went back to the village. So after a year, my sister brought me back to Benin and rent a house. And he got a business for me, which I'm doing in Benin then. So normally, he started sending people. When he find out through my, that's my sister, my second sister's husband, I'm back to Benin. He started looking for where I'm staying. So the man directed him to where I'm staying. He bring some of his neighbors to come and play with me that he wants to be seeing his own child. I said, no problem, I cannot deny you from not seeing your own daughter. So we made an agreement that every weekend he will come around and took the child to his house to stay with him. So on the first weekend he came, I told him, remember that this child have started going to school. Monday he will go to school. He said, no problem. So after that, the four, three times weekend he came around. Then the last one he came that he took the baby. I told him, please, when you are coming, remember to bring this child back. Because this child will be going to school on Monday, and the next week of it, they are having tests. He said, no problem. 
Since every other day he took the child on Sunday evening, I called him. He switched off his phone. I tried calling his brother, nobody is speaking. On Monday of it, I went to his father's house. They said that he has packed out, that they are located for, to another area. So I went to his friend. I pleaded with his friend with my tears. So that one directed me to where he's staying. I went to the house, I didn't meet him. The second time I went there, I met him with a lady who is pregnant. So when I met the lady, I just pretended as if I'm a friend to him. I was trying to know some kind of things from the lady. So when I talked to the lady, the lady explained to me, I said, okay, maybe I'll come back next time. So the next time I came, I met him and the lady at home. So as we were just talking, I said, okay, this is fine. You, you move on with your life. You want to get married to another person. Fine, I can't stop you for not getting married to anybody. All I need is my baby. I don't want another person to bring up my baby up for me. He said no problem. From there, we had a little argument, which him and his girlfriend beated me up that day. So since that day, I said, okay, let me just give them some times and say to myself, maybe when I gather little money, I can be able to go there and collect my baby. So when I called the, the some few months later, I called him. He said the baby is dead. So I went to his father's house. He told his brother to tell me the same thing, that the baby is dead. So I was like, oh, okay, I want to see where you buried the baby. He said I can't see him. Two years later. Yes. Go ahead. He said I can't see the baby, that the baby is already dead. I should just go and move on with my life and get married with someone else. So I told him, okay, no problem, that I should go. But if the baby is still alive, let God help me to find my baby wherever he is. But of recent, last year, I, when I entered through Facebook, I, my spirit told me to go into his, his name. So I type his name, I see the post, the new post he posted with the baby. So I was trying to, on Facebook, I was chatting with him, why will you tell me that the baby is dead when the baby is still alive? He said, and so what? That the baby can be owned by anybody. So I, I pleaded with my sister in Benin to help me find out some things about him. Let me know how to get my baby back. Because I want to, I want to get my baby back. I cannot allow my baby to be trained up by another woman when I'm still alive. So my sister find out his number. I gave, she gave me her his number. I called him, said I should not disturb him. I used some of my friend's number to call him. He told me that he's not going to that. I should stop disturbing him. Let me go and get married and get another children. That I'm able to have many children as I want. But for that, let me leave him and that one alone. Who said that? The guy. Why? So after then, I pleaded with my sister. She's watching your programming. I said, I told my sister that I really want to get my baby back. So she said she's watching your you on live shows on Facebook. So she said she's going to assist me. That's the reason why I'm here. You say your from your statement first you said uh, you were dating the guy and you did not see any sign of seriousness from him, right? No, he was serious then. I never knew it would result to this. But you just said from your first statement, you said you were dating a guy. Though he was not serious. Now I said it's the serious there is the relationship has not gone far like that when I got pregnant. Okay. But when I got the pregnant, he shows interest. Even my mom, everybody loved him. Even my sister was planning to help him so that he would stop the job he's doing and help him to get another suitable job for him. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Delta State. And where is the guy? He lives in Edo. He's hmm? from Delta State too, but they live in Edo. They live in Edo State? Yes. Uh, but he's also from Delta State? Yeah. How old was the baby when he came to carry the baby? The baby was four years when he carried him. Four years? How old is the baby now? He's nine years now. So, why did you stay that long? Because he told me that the baby is dead, so I No, I, at what point did they tell you the, your baby was dead? That was the same year he took the baby, because it took him early January uh -huh. when I got back to me. So during the, uh, the year, I, that's about six months or seven months of the year, I went 
to look for because I was not stable with what I'm doing. So I was just trying to gather a little money. At least if I have money, I can able to fight for my daughter. Whenever they ask me, what are you doing? So I can able to say something that this is what my daughter is doing. So when I went back there, he said the baby is already dead. That I should go, that the baby is no more. So and then I have nobody who I can tell who is going to fight for me there. So that's why I just say, let let me go and do something first, so that I can be able to stand for myself and wake up for my baby, until I find out that the baby is still alive on Facebook. When you went first, when the other guy came to pick the child from you, you said you went. You waited for for how long? Like how many times did he pick the child from you it, before he finally took the child? Four times, four weekends like that. That's over one month. One month. Yeah. Then the last one you went, he picked. He did not return. Return him. Yeah. Then you went. Then you went to to the father's house. house yes. And said the father has packed out, or the guy has no, packed out. No, the guy has left his father's house to rent another place. So I asked his siblings if they can give me where a location. They say they don't know where about he is. Mm -hmm. So I pleaded with his father. He said that he cannot tell his son what to do. How old was the child or the man? This father. Mm. I can't really tell, but then he has become an elder. Like how old? You are dating somebody, you should be able to know the okay, age of whom you are dating. Age of the, it was his 29 years then. 29 years then? Yes. And how old were you? I'm 22. You are 22 years now, you were 22 I years then. I was 22 years then. When you went to that place where you took your child and you saw the guy with, uh, you saw the lady, his girlfriend at the house that you were communicating with, did you see your child there? That very, I didn't see the child there. So that's the reason why I pretended as if to the girl, so that let me just find out some kind of things from the girl so that I will know where my baby is. Mm -hmm. So, what did the girl told you? The girl told me actually that yes, this is where he's living, that he has a little daughter, but he doesn't know where, she do not know where the baby is now. And the guy has a little daughter. And that's what the lady told me that she's pregnant for him. He met the he saw that that Joshua uh, Azuka brought a baby to the house. Mm -hmm. But at that day, both of them were not at home. So I asked her, Did you know the mother of the baby? She said They no. brought the child, both of them were not at home. What yeah. are, what are you saying? You said the guy brought a child, yes. and you now say both of them were not at home. So, how who brought the child now? No, when both of them were that not was at home. The, what I I'm trying to ask the girl a question uh -huh. now. Yeah. Say, have, did you, have you seen any little girl with him? So he said yes, that the girl was brought by who? by by Azuka to uh -huh. the house, and you now but say that both? very day they yeah. were not at home. That day when I got there, so I was trying to ask the girl. Okay, now is the girl living here or? The girl told me yes that the child is living with them, but she don't know the mother of the child. So I told her, now who is the one taking care of the child? She told me that eh, she don't know that the one she knows that she's pregnant for Joshua, Azuka, and that is all. Well, and please bend and don't bug it to the floor. You went to a place and they told you. If this man brought your daughter there, you did not stay there and wait for the man to pick your daughter. You said she was going to school when the guy came to pick the child. Then on the second note, you still went there and saw a girl that told you your daughter is in that house. You left the place. What for? What was your purpose of living there without telling the girl, let me see the child? Or without coming there, to see the child again? No, I went back on the next day of it. I went with a, a lady, which I begged, that is my landlady then, to help me out. So when we got there with my landlady, my la the man said that I'm not stable to take care of the child, that I should go. So after all and done, people were just saying that, okay, let me just leave the girl for now and go and do something. 
that when I start gathering something, I'll be able to take it. I said, okay, I've decided, no problem. But what pains me most is that he denied me of not, and still telling me that the baby is dead. And which means the baby is still alive. When this guy told you that your baby is dead, what, what did you do? I went to his house, to his mm -hmm. father's house. When mm -hmm. I caught them, I asked his younger brother, where is success? He said that success is dead. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. Mm. Okay, where is the burial of the girl? He said, the boy said that he didn't know that his father buried him somewhere else. Mm. So The person that was telling you, how old was the person? The boy then was about, let me say, 19. 19 years? Yes. That is the... Uh, Sibling to the Azuka. To Azuka. Yes. So when you heard that your, the, your baby father that did not marry you, told you that the baby he came to pick from your house died. What do you do? And because you said your sister directed you from my brother, right? Yes. Is she aware that, did you tell her that the man said your baby, your baby uh, died? Yeah, everybody's aware. So what did your family do about that? My family tried helping me out, but there's How? no... They tried helping me out by my younger brother going with me to his father's house. Uh, but from there, we lost his contacts. If you call him, the number is no longer available. And the father's house also disappeared. And the father of the guy disappeared too. The father did not disappear. You are not serious. You don't come to my office to come and be talking this kind of trash story. Yes. You are looking for this child now, what for? Why are you looking for the child? Mother, Tell me your reason. Mother, I want my child, but I want to be the one that will raise her. You are not serious. Child. That child has grown beyond you raising her. You don't need the child. And that is why they told you that kind of story. You don't need that child. You have no reason we to even need the child. My we... father, excuse me. Excuse me. You don't need a child. If you need a child, you know what to do. So somebody will tell you, a child that you born, not that you adopted the child. Somebody, you born a child, you stayed nine months, conceive, born the child. Then somebody will tell you whether it's your husband that picked the child. Even let this person pay your diary, married you both in court and anywhere. He picks the child, he never allow you access to the child. Then the guy woke up from nowhere, even if you are the person, as or the woman woke up from nowhere and told you that he went there to check for the child, not that he called you, this child was sick or this and that. You asked for the child, he said the child died. And you now sit down in that house. Say your parents went to their family and they kept uh, this thing. No police in your village. No vigilante in your village. And a whole of your family, nobody have any reason to report that guy in the police station you want to come and claim child after nine after five years from which office from which office I've told you people, this place is not where you come and tell, cook and do story, or you think if you come, you want to come and demonstrate one useless crocodile tears in front of me to drag any attention. I cross my heart for such tears. You are making fear, fear, fear. Now, four years child that stayed with you, you were rejected. You were neglected. By the same person, you suffered. You stay with the child, with the family. Even this guy was not giving you attention. You have to go to his family. And from there, you went back again to your own village. All because of this person. Then you allow him to come and pick the child with under uh, uh, pretending to keep the child. Then he disappeared after even impregnating another person. You don't have access to your child. Your family cannot fight for you. And you reluctantly went and sit down after five years. For the child to get used to you at what age? Mother, 
them. I've really tried. And some day. of you who feel through the child is your is your hindrance. Because once you have the child, you are just looking for somebody to take care of the child. You get your own freedom to arrange yourself, moving here and there again. Then after you look for whatever, you after somebody trained the child, you're not suddenly looking for the child. I want my child. Is it not when the child needs you that you should bend on? Even tiny rapper looking for that child, let the world listen to you and the, child, the man. You have no feelings for that child because if you have feelings for the child, when that guy told you that he even pronounced that negative words that your child you gave birth to died, that is when you would have jailed him. Or you don't know that even any either of the parents can jail. You seize a man's child and you, if for any reason, tell the man the child died. Without know that you anything happened, you call the man and say this this child was sick or this and that. And it's the purpose what I keep telling you people. Nobody, no parents should seize child from anybody. Don't seize child from a man as a woman. Don't seize child from a woman as a man. Because you can be arrested, you can be jailed. The both parents have access, have rights. To assess their children. So if you think the only way you can get at your spouse is to see the children both of you have together. Just pray in your entire life that nothing happened to any of the child you see. Because if anything happened to any of the child, you will go dearly for it. You go in for it. Because we have seen parents also that use. Men and women that use, use their children for ritual. Some of them sell their children. So you cannot pick anybody. We have cases that even a mother and a child took what their junior brother to a herbalist pretending that they want to, uh, 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 what is it called, give them spiritual support for the guy to prosper. Unknowingly to the, to the guy that the mother and the, the sibling plan with the herbalist to kill the boy. A woman that gave birth to, to her own son plan with a second son to, to kill the first son in a herbalist, in, 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 uh, in uh, uh, what is it called, for ritual, so that the other one will make money for her as a Yahoo boy. But eventually after they kill, kill the boy, the spirit of the boy haunts them, they were arrested and they confessed in good State here. So what are you talking about? And you see now, your sister that is in the Western world that's supposed to have guided you what to do. The whole family had that the guy say your child died. Even if you don't have money, you did not cry to police and say they must provide you your child. You now had a story. Your child died. And you gave up the mind. You have for, oh, you have so you are considered already. You have confirmed. Okay, no problem. So if you love this child so much. That is what you could have even the step you will take. The family will go to the family, fight the family to provide the child. They should tell you. So you do not, you are not concerned about where they bury the child. You only con, con, uh, con, uh, uh, agreed the child is late. No problem. You take up your life and go on with your life. Then all of a sudden you search your mind, your spirit tell you to search the guy on, on Facebook. You not search the guy. You not saw that uh, there is a child. There is. You snap with the child dead. Do you just listen to yourself? You have no reason to go and be looking for the child now. Now that you know that the child is alive, you only visit. Because the feeling that you did not care whether that child died and you will be going on normal without even feeling if, uh, oh, uh, you born before and everything. You on your own, you have already seen the child as your headache, as your hindrance. So then that the child have died, no problem. You have gone go on with your life. So why do you want the child again? Because you cannot tell me you want to see the child. And you don't want anybody to train your child. Your child should not grow up with anybody after five years. So when the child was four years, you allow her to stay with, the, uh, with anybody. Okay, no problem. As the guy told you, you cannot take care of a child. People stay in the village. Our grandparents, do you know how they grow up? How they take care of their children in the village? Can you, because of feeding now, give out your child? How much do you use to feed the child? Except you are looking otherwise. The man 
and during the time I didn't feel reluctant at all because I God in heaven knows that I tried my best to find out where he is to at least know if I will see the baby or the corpse of God where they bury the baby. But whenever I go to his family, nobody gave me a good response. And I cannot kill them. That's because I don't have any money with me. Is it by money? Of, of the case. Even the times of my sister, everybody, they stop calling me. They say, I should carry my cross. Because that's not the kind of life they sent me to live. Mm, that, is the kind of, that is not the kind of life they sent you to live because you're born child. Why did they not want the child now? They don't send you out to go and live that kind of life because you, you mistakenly took in and born a child. Then the child, the man that told you people the child died. Nobody feel concerned again. Then you are becoming single and free of child again. You do not have child again. When did you discover this child on Facebook? Which year? It was last year. Last year? Yes. Last year when? December last year. What did you do? I called, I, that is on Facebook, I'm chatting with him. I was just pleading with him that I want to know where he lives. At least, let me see the baby. At least, let's be talking on phone. If it is just only to talk on phone, he said no problem, that he's going to send his number to me. So, December, when I traveled to my place, I went to the father's place. When I got there, the neighbor told me that they traveled to east, that the, to their village, that nobody is at home. So, I went back. And I've been trying to keep on until he blocked me on Facebook. I'm I no longer chat with him. So of recent I got I lost my phone then too. I recently got a new phone. I tried to reach him out again. The thing is still blocked on that same Facebook. Before I tried to fight to get his number, at least for me to be able to contact with him because the number he was using before I don't know what happened to the line. The line is not going through anymore. So I started asking people I know of that can be able to take me to his directions to please help me with his number. So the day I got his number through my sister's husband that helped me to bring out a uh, look for his number, I called him on phone. He answered me well. I said, okay, now where are you? He said that if I ever want to see my baby, let me pay that price. For him. I said, which type of price will I pay for you? He said he would call me to tell me where I'm going to meet him, to pay a price for myself. I said, it's okay, no problem. I will. Any price you want. At least let me be hearing from the baby. Even if it's just hello, are you fine? Are you okay? Anything I can afford, I can still help for the baby to be okay. That's just what I want. So, the day before yesterday, I tried calling the number. He said I should not disturb him. I used a friend phone to call him. He said I should go to hell and leave him alone. That I should go and get married and get many children as I want. Do you have the girl picture? Yes, I have it. And you have the man's picture? Yes, the one I saved from Facebook. What is the name of your sister in her blood? Teresa. The baby and this him. Show the picture again. Where does it sound? The boy okay? A girl. How can a girl look like this? She's a girl. And this is the picture. Are you girl. sure this is your child? Yes, this is my child. Go back to the child. Bring it close here.
Let me see the guy for sure. What is his name? Azuka. Release his uh, Facebook credits and let my viewers chat in from there. So I will be able to know, let him know that he has no hidden place. His Facebook name is Azuka Ozanibi. Azuka Ozanibi. Yes. Search it that place and bring it out. Let's see. You said you, no, you are no more his friend on Facebook? Yes, he blocked me on Facebook. Azuka. Ozanibi. Yes. This one? No, not that one. Spread the the Ozanibe. O Z E N E B E. Ozanibe. O S A N. Hold on. Azuka. Yes. A Z O K A R E. Azuka. Yeah. A Z O K A. No. Osanibe, O S A. Oh, not Azuka. Azuka, Azuka. Spell that you Azuka. A Z U K A. A okay, Azuka. Yes. Azuka Osanibe. This is the same person picture that is coming out to me. This is the only person I'm seeing. Where is it? Hello? 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 You can't find him again? No. Is it Ozanibi or Sanibi? Ozanibi. O-S-A-N-E-B-I. Uh -huh. You are the one pronouncing it wrongly now. O Z E A N E B I. Right? O S A N E B I. What? O X A S. Yes. Not Z. No, not Z. O S A N E B I. N E B I. Yes. It's not say here. It's not here also. It's not here, so probably you look for what what did he use as his eh? is that his yeah, yeah, that is his name I caught him with. And it's not this one. This. No, that is not okay. And you just yourself cannot even find it again. And what makes you think it's already it's still on uh, Facebook? 
the last time he blocked me on Facebook, I was not there, I was not able to get him anymore. So probably he has deleted the Facebook. Uh, Facebook now. Maybe he has deleted himself. Give me one more right uh, number from so let's call the guy on this on this it is me on the right on this light they listen to first before you they jump they do something what's your problem uh, please for some of you that are calling our lines here for case you are watching the Shasha branch, you are just disturbing our lines. Please stop calling any lines that they did not give to you for a particular case. Shasha call lines is 0903 That is the line they are using for the case that is ongoing there. So if we did not open the call line here, don't call our line to disturb us. Please. So now he has agreed that your your baby is alive. Yes. Hmm? For him to even lie alone. Maybe you have intention of killing the child. So that is what we'll start up with first. Maybe he has tried to kill the child. The child head could not follow his way. Mara defender and access to justice. Good afternoon. All right. Uh, this guy is not picking phone. Show us his picture again. Be fast about that. I have other things to do. Tell my sister to open her password because this is my sister's phone. No matter. Call the sister to come and open this phone. Call the sister to come and put the password. Show the picture now. Ah. 
For you people that know this uh, guy, Azuka, is this the only picture you have? Yeah, that's the one I see on his Facebook. Only one picture you have on Facebook? No, it's not only one. So why do you take the one that he wore, he, he wore this thing? Can you identify a person with this kind? People that did not know him, how do they know who is the person? Some of you are so sluggish, too annoying. You date somebody for more than how many years? You went to his, you have been looking for your child, you went to his Facebook and seen that he went and captured only one picture. What happened to the rest picture? Is it only one of your child picture you saw there? Why do you pick one? Because the ones I saw, there are so many with her. So this is the only one she stands alone. You, that is the reason, all those ones are also proof. Evidence that your baby is still alive and they are holding the child to, to ransom from you. How can you take one one picture? You take this one with a uh, 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 speck and you took only one of your child there. What is this number? Call the number. Let's put it. Let's view, uh, uh, viewers calling from the, uh, from here. For we know our next step. What's the number? Zero seven zero. Zero seven zero. Call the number. You know the one that did the zero seven zero. Zero seven zero. Yes. Three one. Mm -hmm. Zero double five. Four one one. Four one one. Yes. Sorry, one four one. Don't know what you know. Call the number again. Zero seven zero mm -hmm. three one mm -hmm. zero five five mm -hmm. one four one. His name is who? Azuka. Viewers, please, uh, I want you to call this uh, Mr. Azuka for wherever he is in the Do State or in Benin or any part of uh, Nigeria. Please call him. We need the mother and the child reconciled with this girl with immediate effort. We are trying to call him from here. He's not picking. And we want viewers to please call this guy wherever he's staying. Because number one, if he did not reconcile this child peaceful with the mother, Lying alone that that girl is late, we will take action against him. Probably he wanted to kill the child, or he have attempted to kill the child. For him to have said that child died, meaning he want to kill the child. And that is the reason why he should not even be in custody of the child. Because if he have feelings for the child, if he have single feelings for the child, he will not have any reason as a father to lie that your own child died. Death, death, power in the tongue. You are pronouncing death on a life of innocent child that have not committed any offense, neither wrong you. That is height of wickedness. That is very, very wicked. He may can even decide to keep the child. No, I will not allow you. I have taken my child. When the child grows, he can know you, or you can come so so time, or okay, you you are not fit enough to take care of the child. But not to pick somebody's child. And you have that evil spirit mind to use your dirty, smelly mouth to cause child, innocent child that the child died. That guy is a criminal and he needs to be declared wanted. He's a ritualist. Because you don't have any reason to tell somebody your child died. His own child that is claiming to be his child now. Please, you people should call that child will give you 48 hours to reconcile the child with the mother. Otherwise, we will track him, get him arrested, and he will tell us what happened to the child, all this while this child has been with him, or his intention. Very wicked set of people. My sister, protest is not by money. Eh? If you want to protest, you see chicken. That is why some of you, if you come before me and begin to talk what you talk, I feel like, I feel like walking you out of my office. Chicken, fowl, that lay, that hash, all these hands. Just go towards any of them. Even let the, let the, let the hand have almost, maybe, hashed up to 10, 15. Dear one. That hen will run after you. Pet you. 
throw finger all over your body. And that is animal. And you have just one. Is it by money? You can decide to take yourself and go and sit in the father's house. You can even hold, like, hold the, the, the old father. Nobody is going anywhere except you people show me where they buried my late, my, your, your late child. Or where is your child? It's not by money you going to police station. But the mind of you not giving up, this person must provide me my child. That is what I'm talking about. Cannot say in Nigeria everything is money. Police, everything is money. Do you think you go to a police station? Is it every police officer that you, you will cry to? That will ask you, you must bring money before he leaves to go and fight for you? No! We have bad eggs in the police. All police are not the same. I've seen police officers that handle case of a child and still give money to the child. You can't money. Give to the girl. It's a police officer with his own money gives. So many DPOs have been doing that. You cannot sit in your house because you have one uh, perspective about people. You generalize everybody. Every Nigerian police is wicked. Every Nigerian police is money. If you complain, you must give. No. There are some, if you cry out in the police station, among them, there are some that is willing to take over, take up your matter and fight for you. Your family did not go and hold the man uh, for the family of the man. You know where your child is. You know where the guy comes from. Why are you sitting down waiting for uh, uh, what is it called? This, that, 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 that again. If you not pick this call, you will just discuss what the way out off camera. My right defender now says to justice, good afternoon. Hello? Oh. Uh, hello? Yeah, who is speaking? Hello? Yeah, um, this is um, Kemi from London. I call the man now that you are, you are dealing with the case now. Yeah. They, she pick, he picked the phone and he copied. He picked it. He picked the call, right? Yeah, he picked it. He picked the phone. They, he took it. Good he called answer. the phone off. Except he disappeared from the planet. Anywhere he is, he will bring that child out. That is, this is this is criminal offense. It's not just normal. For a man to tell his a, 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 a baby mama that her child died four years ago, all of a sudden for her to discover the child is alive, that is wickedness. Thank you very much for calling. Let's call him back again. I'll call him again to respond. We'll text him for, uh, what is it called? For an evidence. We'll take it up from there. Nonsense. Position is picture. I hope you are not, it's not chat. You are sitting down chatting. Bring this picture out. I'm just trying if I can get him on WhatsApp and he has like that. This is uh, Mr. Azuka Osenebi. Where is he living? Speak up, madam. No, it's not my mouth that you hear that from. Where in the those states? In Benin. Where in Benin? At Abu Park. Touch that screen. Abu Park. Yes, the overhead area. What does he do for a living? He's a driver. Hold on, let me zoom in. Please, this person is a Zuka. Or Sanibi, who drive, who is a driver, a public driver, a commercial driver, which area? He drives from Agbo, uh, Edo to Agbo. Drives from Edo to Agbo. He collected, he went 
on the pretense to go and see a child, a four years child that a girl, Mrs. Angela, who told me, who told me, Abby, who told me, Chair Maka, had for him in the year past. And he went to that house nine years ago, Abby, six years ago, six years ago, with the pretense to go and see the child. I mean, to spend on a weekend with the child, and that is how Mr. O Azuka Osanibi took this child, kidnapped the child from the mother's place, take the child to unknown destination. Till this moment, we are talking to you. They have been looking for the child, and Osanibi Azuka told Angela five years ago that the child was already dead, and he has buried the child. Every effort to see the dead body, neither where they bury the child, prove abortive. Put that your this thing. Remove that your screen, uh, whatever, timer. All for this girl to go to social media to discover that the child is still alive, that this man lied to him five years ago. <laughs> Umara, I defend an access to justice. Good afternoon. Hello, auntie. Good afternoon, ma. Afternoon. Did you call the man? Put it on the screen. No, 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 no. I just want to appreciate you. I just want to thank you so much, auntie. You don't know what you are doing for us. Thank you so much. Because if not you, where will this girl run to? You don't understand? Even if I want to go to police, where will she see the money to go to police? If not you, thank you so much. Not that she... For me, or not that she abandoned her child, the place she wishes to run to, it's just like we that is in Europe here. If government take your child here, you don't have nowhere to write to, to run to. No human life will help you. No government will help you. No lawyer will help you. But you are there for us and say, God will bless you. Thank God you. will increase you. God will also fight for you what you cannot fight for yourself. Amen. Thank you so much. I know that you will, if this child will, the mother will, will, will find her child. But God will reward you in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you so much. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. So this is the storyline for all the people, everybody from Edo State, from Benin to Ekpoma, both in abroad and in Nigeria, who are declaring this Mr. Azoka Osane be wanted. And we'll take it up, we'll communicate with our comrades in Benin to get this man arrested now we are trying to reach him, he's not answering the call, and we don't know where the child is. As far as he on his own is available, he will tell us what killed the child, tell us where he buried the child, show us where at what point did that child died. So you cannot stay nowhere. So this is the person, his name is Azuka Osanebi, he's a driver in Benin, Edo State. He's driving from where to where, please tell us. From Edo to Agbo. From Edo to Agbo. Do you know the kind of car he's using? Yeah, it's a small car. Do you know the name of the car? No, I don't know. You don't know the name of the car. So please, the number is there 70 141. And his Facebook name is Azuka Osanebi. That is A Z K A. Then Osanebi is Z O. S A N E B I. That is his Facebook name. And for the child that has be told the mother of the child, Angela Udomiche Amaka, five years ago, that the child is already dead. Where did you bury the child? He said there is no need. The child or sorry, the child died and he has buried the child. To the extent to tell you how wicked, how heartless is Mr. Azoka Sanebi. He planned with the family members again that they should tell this girl that the child has died. And she went to the family house of Azoka Sanebi, a junior brother, which is a sibling to Osanebi Azuka, told this lady that her child had died and they have buried the child. Where is the child? Nobody knows. Where is the grave? Nobody knows. She just have to go home helpless. All for her to go and search Facebook last year to, to discover that after five years, the child is still alive. 
that the child is with Osanebi Azoka, which he have to provide us the child. So that is the battle we are going to fight this week now in Edo State. For everybody that know this Azuka Osanebi, that is a driver driving from Bini to Agbo, she will please make every effort to get him arrested for us to recover this innocent child, for this innocent girl that has suffered to give birth. Even while she was pregnant, she was maltreated. After she gave birth, the guy threw her out of the house. She couldn't, she had no place to stay. She stayed in the guy's parents' house. Later, she left there, started staying with her family in her own village because of sufferness. But this guy never see anything good with her. He impregnated another person and took the child falsely. We need this child back and we need this man arrested to inform us why he said this innocent child died. And this is the person, this is Mr. Osane B. Azuka. For some of you that have searched his Facebook, that have equally seen any other of his pictures there, please release the pictures back here so that we can have as many as his pictures that people can use to identify him. Umar, I defend and access to justice. Good afternoon. This is Chukwode. I still want to know that I'm asking you, please. You say what? It's Chukwode. Are you calling in respect of this case? Yes. What are you saying, no. please? They are not a form. They are a case. They are not a case. I think some of you have brain problem. They are handling case. You are calling. You, you call. You have a complaint here. And you are watching us. Are you calling in respect of this case? You say yes. And you said you have a complaint. This is the person. Please, if you get across to this man in any way from a do state, even while we started our movement to get him apprehended, so that we can return, reconcile this baby with the mother. Please call us on 080-330-24550. 080-330-24550. Any of you that have made any effort to get this man apprehended even before we get to Benin, help us to communicate with us on 080-330-24550. Thank you very much. Let's see the child. Let's see the baby. This is the baby that Osanebi Azuka told the mother that, that, that she's late. She's dead five years ago. This is the baby. The baby is still alive. So we need your help all over the world to ensure we have the baby back reconciled with the mother. Please. Somebody say, this is the baby. The picture you snap, is that his, uh, what kind of profile did you have? The profile, it has something like a uh, two pack. Two pack on his profile. Two pack? Yes. Hello? You want to call, please you open your voice and call us so no just lie down your bed and be calling us with bedroom voice. Want to hear if you have anything you want to tell us, you call, you are ready to call, then please open up your voice so that we can hear you out. Mara defend and access to justice. Good afternoon. Hello? Are you calling in respect of this case? What do you Yeah. Don't worry. Let, we, will, we will bring it. Just don't worry. Now go here part two in Edo State very soon. I'm waiting for that. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. 
Now go here part two. Now go see where this child go, even there with the mother. That one for sure. Use every facility except to disappear from planet. But as far as he is still on that road, it's unfortunate for him to try that kind of nonsense. It's all right. Thank you, viewers, for being with us. Just like we cannot relate, this is a challenge on, on our shoulder, my shoulder, and your shoulder. Yeah. The network is good from here. We don't know. That is the number of a sign. Um, Number for Sunday be Azuka is zero seven zero three one zero five five one four one, and it's a driver that drive from Bini to Agbo, and it's the one that we've just show. If you search his Facebook or Azuka or Sunday B on Facebook, his profile picture is a what? Two pack. Two, two pack. pack. Huh? Two pack picture. Two pack picture is deep. If you like, let us. Uh, but you have seen. If you see anybody similar on, with uh, with that face and that innocent little beautiful child, that black child, please forward it to us. And for anybody, even while we communicate with our Edo comrades, which I'm still going to do that as soon as I drop off this camera, uh, we are going to the please communicate back to us on zero eight zero. Three three zero two four five 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 zero. Yeah. So that trouble that he he, he buried since uh, five years ago has matured. So he's going to be he's going to be unburied now. Umara, defender, and access to justice. Good Hello. afternoon. Hello. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Oh, sorry, this is not the, uh, the program I'm following. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you are following here and there. No problem. It's all right. Thank you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV or follow us on our Facebook page on Kumarai Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center. For more useful information, visit our website on www.hldac.org.ng. Thank you very much. I'll have Auntie, a very I think wonderful. I've gotten here with another name. Let, let me see. Which name? Azuka Joshua. Joshua is an English name. But this is the only picture you see there. No, it's not the only picture. Okay. It's uh, Azuka Joshua. Only three pictures. Is it the one? Yes, it's the one. Azuka Joshua. They are finding him in another Facebook page. Azuka Hello. Joshua. Good afternoon. Who is speaking, please? My name is. Uh... I'm calling from Doha. Yeah, you're calling from where? Doha, Qatar. Okay. Are you calling in respect of this case? Yes, I just called the guy now. That yeah. uh, there is a lady who reports you to human rights. Yeah. And the human rights are calling you from human rights. You are not attending the call. Please, the woman will call you now. Then you can attend to them. Okay. And what was his response? He said, "It's no problem. He will. He will attend to them." We will call him back again if he will pick. If you like, let him know. Thank you very much for your effort. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Mara Defender and Access to Justice, good afternoon. Okay, we missed this call. Let's try Azuka again for his next story. Do we have anything to lose? It's him that will stop. Hello, the person you are calling is on another call at the moment. Do hold on, I'll call back later. Thank you. His picture with the baby and this the baby and this and all that to them. Okay, it's two. This one of the picture. This is him. 
with the baby and another baby. Am I right, defender and access to justice? Good afternoon. Hello, ma. Hello. Yeah, yeah. who is speaking? Good Are you morning, calling in respect of this case? This is Suzanne. Suzanne from Access to Ma. Are you calling in respect of this case, ma? Yes, ma. Yes, ma. I just called you as well now. Yes. And I was telling you, we can't do our work. 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 I can't hear you, please. I was telling you, we can't do our work. I just called as well now. And you were shouting, who can't do our work? Who can't do our work? Who can't do our work? He doesn't care. He doesn't give a fuck. Who can't do our work? You don't worry. Don't just relax. Don't worry. Your network is bad. We can't really hear you, but no problem. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you for your effort. The final call. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah. Who is speaking and where are you calling from? Yes, I'm Isaiah. My name. I told you to say that you need an experienced driver. Yeah. All right. This is the child. I think the child by the right. Yes. That is the baby, and uh, and uh, other children with him. Umar, I defend and access to justice. Good yes. afternoon. Hello. 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 Who is speaking? Okay, this is not for advert, but for case we are handling. This is a child, no problem. All right, thank you, viewers. We'll give you updates from our next line of action. Thank you for being with us. Remember, bless. His name on Facebook is Azoka Joshua. That is on the new Facebook now that he just got. You see, other all other this. All right, remain blessed. Thank you very much.